animated uh, whatever you do just it's basically just um, use and just replace that's basically it okay uh, now we're gonna um, one last thing is sound uh, I'm gonna teach you how to add sound which is easy you should figure it on your own and how to stop a sound from um, playing and about stream stream and event these things well let me zoom in for that zoom oh yeah where's the freaking oh, God. it's wait yeah click a frame and right here event it start stops stream and this is where you would look for the sound and repeat and loop be sure this is obvious what it is and the number is how many times you want it to repeat yeah I'm gonna keep it zoomed in just for your sake now I'm gonna go get a, ra a random sound gonna get a oh wait no mix sounds I'm gonna get the uh, uh just the Dragon Ball Z sound it's old and basic yeah I'm gonna I, I know I use that word a lot uh, medium punch that's good enough just just grab the sound and then drag it in here um, flash usually usually accepts um, let me zoom out flash usually accepts um, WAVs um, and mp3s there might be a, a time where it's gonna say um, it, it, it can't read the file for whatever reason and even if it, if it's mp3 or wav or wave whatever it's called it's still not gonna read it well what you're gonna have to do is pretty much just convert it into a, the same file again a good program for this would be um, Audacity. It's it's free and it's really really good. It's this program right here, Audacity. You open it. <coughs> It'll open right here. You you all you gotta do is drag the sound in here. Let me see. I'm gonna get a random. Whoa. So, um. Put that in Audacity. Just put it in there. Go to File and Export as MP3. MP3 is better. It, it has less less file size. Or I, <coughs> I think. Well, there. If it doesn't read, that's what you have to do. You have to convert it again, even if if it's already MP3 or something. Um, now we have the sound in flash on the library here you might not be able to see it because this once again does not have auto pan so it can't scroll to the right and show it but the sound will be right here just look for the sound in the, in the library or you can click on a, on the on a frame and then look for the sound uh, let me zoom in you just fart oh okay um well, once again, click on a on a frame, come down here, and then look for it here. This is what I usually do. So, um, the, what you want the sound to start will be right here. So you um you can either just drag it into the, just drop it um unlock the um frame um the layer of course and just drop, or you can use it um through the drop panel right down here. So let's click on the frame where the sound should begin at and click medium punch and what the heck I didn't wait do I have to unlock it okay now it's there there now it's there <coughs> and um I don't know if you can hear it I, I don't I doubt it let me yeah I don't think you can hear it right now but on yours it will, you'll hear it and that's pretty much it now the rest about sound <coughs> how to stop it a sound from playing I would <coughs> um, you simply put um, once the sound is in you click anywhere 
um ahead anywhere like if you ever want to stop the sound right here you make a keyframe you make a keyframe I already have a keyframe there so you don't need to make one you put the same exact sound again and then you go down to where it says sync and then it says event and then when you click on it there's four options start stop and stream you press stop and then that will auto and the sound will automatically stop on that frame that's how you stop it now there's also um let me remove the sound here stream mode like here's what i recommend stream um if it um for stream if the movie lags and the stream will play with the frame so that it doesn't keep on playing even while the movie is like 20 frames behind two it um it only exports what what's on the on uh, how much um music is on the frame so let's say you have a whole song you only use half of it if you have it on event it's going to export the whole song rat um regardless and you'll have more extra memory for no reason stream will only export what's on the movie so you'll have the proper amount of file size and what I recommend you do, you do because stream also causes problem. It causes your sounds to desync. So, from only for music, for music, you put in a song. I don't. I'm not gonna bother doing one. You just put the song in on a bottom layer, on a, on its own layer. Because another thing about stream is that, um, if you put a sound, a sound on an event, it'll it'll play the whole sound no matter what. Or, or um, but on stream. If you put a sound here, it cuts off wherever on um, where this ends. So if you make a keyframe, then the stream was the song, the sound, whatever you have, whatever sound you have there will stop on the keyframe. So make a new layer for music. This is what I do it, and it helps a lot. You put the the song in here. You can name it music layer if you want. You put the song in here. You set this to stream. You set the song there to stream. You leave the rest of the sounds as event. So make sure only the song um, is on stream and everything else is on event. This way, I, it works for me. It might not work for you. I've heard people say that it doesn't work. It makes it um, desync. But for me, it works. So hopefully, it'll work for you too. You once you put the music on on stream and all the sounds will be on event you most likely won't have any problems and you have less file size to deal with and yeah there oh christ that oh and there's also you can edit the sound you can make the sound like let me zoom in again you can give the sound a fade um you go to some effect right under the sound thing and you have a, a couple of effects you can do or you can do custom and it'll bring up this. This is just the sound waves thingy. This controls the volume. Like if I put it on both um all the bars all the way down, each controls which um like this is like the right speaker and left speaker. You get the point. Um, you put them both down, then it'll completely mute the sound. If you put them all both up, then you'll hear it. And you can change the volume by putting it down here and stuff, or you can make it like. You can make a you click anywhere and it'll make another square. Then you move this square up and then the sound will um start from here. It'll rise up and then continue and then you can make another square and then make it drop. It'll rise up and then drop and make sure you do it on this side too. It'll rise and then drop. That's something pretty cool. You can uh, mess around with the sounds like that. And it also tells you the frames right here so you can know when what's going to happen. So and Hmm, is there anything else to cover? Nope. Yep, there's nothing else um, that I can think of right now, so that's enough.